One of the most rewarding areas that we're working in is our place-based work. It gives us the opportunity to be invited by the community to listen and to respond to their priorities. We've had a number of suicides in Catherine and Catherine Mental Mate started by one young fellow, Dylan Lewis, coming and talking to us about what they can do to help prevent suicide in town. I've had some mental health issues myself. Over the years, it's been quite hard to get help, and I've lost two good mates in my rugby club to suicide. Definitely felt we needed to try and especially help the young fellas in Catherine. And they decided that what they wanted to do was to ensure at least two people in every sporting organisation in the Catherine community had the skills through training to be able to respond to people in crisis. Because at two o'clock in the morning, who's there? It's not the services organisation, it's, it's your mate. One in three women in Australia will experience domestic and family violence. And in the Northern Territory, that figure's even higher. And so what we're trying to do is get people to talk about all these hard subjects that have never really been spoken about much before. We try and encourage as many men as we can to come to our committee in the hope that we reduce uh, the incidence of domestic and family violence in the area. Within corrections, 72% of the prisoners are in there for violence related matters. And I think one of the biggest messages we're trying to get out is not just violence against women and children, but violence is not acceptable, full stop. <laughs> Kalano Flexible Care is a really beautiful um, aged care facility for Indigenous residents. They live out remotely, they'll come into Kalano Flexible Care. We'll work with them and improve their health status and their situation. We've got some innovative programs happening. We do share bedding, which means that clients that come from the same community can actually get to go home. So when one client's in, the other one gets to go home. And it's been very, very successful so far. One of the really wonderful things about Kalano Flexible Care is the average age of our residents there is 88 years of age. So we really are closing the gap in terms of life expectancy. <laughs> And that's what I like about working with Place Space. We're listening to the community and how can we as a community fix the issues and deliver appropriate supports and mechanisms. Mm -hmm.